Okay, just did my makeup. I am getting ready to get the car serviced. I'm gonna take my laptop with me because it's gonna take about an hour and I can work on my video. I can work on the editing on my video. I'm gonna change. Uh, currently in my lingerie at home, Cash net from Nepal, a uh, really old Zara knit kind of trousers that I usually like to lounge around the house in. Mm. Inside I am wearing my Skims body. Honestly, I can't stress how, how much I love the Skims body. Let me wear something. Something casual. I picked up another one of these Target t-shirts that I love and they have it in a sleeveless version now. It's this brand here. I think it's a new day. And they cost like about eight dollars, but I absolutely love these style just because hold on just because I could wash them, wear them, and the neck does not stretch, it stays in shape and it looks really good on top of my tweed coats, my blazers. It's a really good layering piece. And they came out with the sleeveless version of this. Love, can't complain. I got it in a black and navy, and I think they have a few shades, but I wanted to try out the sleeveless versions for us just to see how they fit also i went with a size extra small because it's a lot more snug but still comfy and i also think that the uh, skims bodies definitely help so from my recent skims purchase they were everything that i got was on sale at the skims website and i intentionally wanted to buy the ones on scale be on sale because i just didn't want to spend full price on those items and now that i have the pieces i honestly would pay full price for them this shapewear is the most comfortable shapewear i've ever worn because i usually hate shapewear they're not comfy and i feel so restricted in them but the, these guys this shapewear body it's the brief bodysuit seamless sculpt and i have the brief version of the bodysuit i'm absolutely obsessed with it I wear it throughout the day, obviously not at night, but they're so comfy that I can just lounge around the house in. It holds me in without making me feel restricted or uncomfortable and that's saying a lot for shapewear. I don't love the briefs as much, the ones that I picked up in the past, uh, like these guys. These kind of shapewear, the Skims undie underwear, these kind of brief style that is like tummy control. For some reason, I just don't like those. I mean, they hold it in, but I think it's more for people that already have like a nice flat tummy, which kind of defeats the purpose for, in my personal opinion, because I tend to have a slightly more flabbier abs. And then what it does is it holds the bottom brief core, but then everything on top just folds over, which actually makes my body even look worse so this one's like mm, but the shapewear 10 out of 10 has my stamp of approval i would although i got them on sale i would for sure purchase them at full price the other piece that i really like from my recent skims purchase is a door this is the fits everyone and i feel like in the fits everyone style size down because the extra small fits so good i got it also in this nude kind of t-shirt style crew neck I picked this up because this was the one on sale and I figured I could layer it out. And I got the famous square neck body, but I got this one in a size small and it doesn't feel as good as these. So in the fits everyone style, I would definitely size down. 
in the shapewear if you're trying to wear it throughout the day just to like smooth things out and be comfy i'd say go true to size or if you are interested in purchasing more than one since they're on sale i'd say get it in your true to size and one size down just so you can try out two different sizes if you are looking to purchase them on sale say so i'm just gonna get ready i haven't washed my hair i need to pick up hair dye i need to cover my roots mm. i just hate getting my hair done at the salon because i think it's so expensive to get your roots your grays covered and they literally don't last so long so i usually get a box dye and do it myself at home i think i'm gonna wear this be comfy throw on a pair of jeans let me get ready and i'll get i'm ready wearing uh, levi's jeans these are slightly big this indigo style uh, target t-shirt sleeveless um old ysl shirt kind of jacket and on top i am going to throw on this zara coat this is a really old zara coat so it's one of these coats that zara usually does this is really old i mean i think i've had it for quite a few years now but that's just what I, how I am with sort of classic pieces I can never get rid of them and I still wear them and this is a nice layering piece it has no lining so I usually like this and I also kind of like the length it's not too long I'm gonna wear this black mango booties it's easy to drive in probably gonna take my laptop so I need a practical bag I'm gonna take this hemp bag that I bought from my last trip in Nepal. I love this bag. It almost has like Miss Sony vibes in terms of jewelry, the same idle pieces. You know, watch. I really want to get a new watch. I'm conflicted. I want the Apple Watch just because you know I can, I can track my recent like fitness journey, and also I'm able to track the laps in my swim. And some waterproof so i want to get because of that and it's just that i think that it's a personal opinion i don't find apple watches quite attractive so that's one thing but i know it's practical but i also don't like that the apple watch is constantly notifies you because i see people that have apple watch are constantly on their phone on their watch slash phone because midway through conversations they get a notification and it almost like a reflex for them to look at their watch slash phone so i kind of don't want that happening with me i know there are options to mute that out mm, but i definitely do want an apple watch probably the smaller one just to track my steps my fitness not that i'm a fitness freak but i kind of want to track that and i also kind of want to update my watch mm, i'm considering getting something from cartier i don't know let's see but i want to add a watch to my everyday almost like a jewelry collection because i feel like watches are like jewelry anyways i'm running late I haven't shared with you guys the Frankie Shop coat that I got. So it's this guy here in the shade navy. The buttons are not white. This is just like the covers on top. 95% wool, 5% cashmere. So it is quite soft and floor length. The size I have is in an extra, extra small. And the reason why I even got this coat is honestly because with Frankie Shop pieces, sometimes some of the pieces that they carry are one size fits all. And I really don't like that because their style in general is oversized and when they have the one size fits all especially the coats they tend to run like really oversized so mm, there have been instances where i bought something and i might have to return it with this one i didn't have to do that because they carried in a wide range of sizes so i have the size extra extra small i don't know if i mentioned that and the shade i got is in the navy because i feel like i could use a navy coat i just have like one max Mara navy coat one zara navy coat and i do reach for navies when i want to go darker but i don't want to wear black and it's obviously what i love about this outerwear is the length it's floor length for me and i love these exaggerated shoulders that's the thing that i'm going through i feel like it gives very solid run vibes without the price tag and it even has like this trench coat detailing on the sleeves and on the shoulders and 
I also like that Frankie Shop prices are approachable. Uh, I'm not saying that they're cheap, but they're definitely not so expensive that they're not attainable. Like a Saint Laurent coat would set us back like three to four thousand dollars. Meanwhile, the Frankie Shop would be under seven hundred dollars. I feel like it's a more approachable price point. I think it also comes in like a gray, a beige, black. I don't think they have it in a white. I would definitely add the black, I think, but I really don't know. <laughs> it's always like, I can't never resist a coat. I don't know what it is about outerwear. I just love them. I try to make a mental note and say that I'm not gonna need any more coat, but then I'll see something that I really like and somehow missing in my wardrobe. So yeah, I'm gonna try this on for you guys. No food for, I think like what, 10, 10 hours? Uh, yeah. yeah, so I'm here at the diners to get oh, no. some breakfast, but most importantly, I'm here to get some coffee. My favorite store, Home Depot. <laughs> yes. Let me uh, let me show you around my favorite store. Look at the sheds, look nice. I could. Alrighty. morning it's pretty gloomy out i had a pretty early doctor's appointment the appointment required me to be on empty stomach no water no coffee no food so i'm okay with the no food and the no water but i'm just one of those persons that when i wake up in the morning the first thing i need is coffee uh, else i get really moody and irritated so the doctor's appointment we stopped by a diner for some breakfast and i love a diner coffee so it's been a while since I, we've got back home. We made a pit stop at Home Depot. We are working on a laundry room project that we actually wanted to work on it in the summer, but it had to be expedited, long story. So we're gonna work on that today. And I just was quickly cleaning up my closet. And I thought I'd share with you guys some uh, something that arrived in the mail for me this week. And also while I was cleaning up my beauty cabinet, I wanted to share with you guys some drugstore products and some products that I use on a daily basis that are empties and I'm replenishing. For starters, let's start off with La Roche-Posay because it is one of my favorite drugstore beauty products. Mm, I used to love Cetaphil face washes and I just can't use them anymore. For some reason when I wear them, and they're very mild, but for some use, reason when I use Cetaphil face wash, uh, my face stings a little, so I think my skin is really sensitive lately. Mm, I completely used up this one, the La Roche Posay. What is it called? <laughs> the Gentle Foaming Cleansing Oil. Mm, I know this is for the face and body, but I love it for my face. I've been using this and it's completely empty, so I got a replenishment. However, I couldn't find the replenishment for the longest time at my local drugstore. So I picked up this one, which is also from La Roche-Posay. So I mostly use this for my morning routine, like when I wash my face in the morning. And I use this at night, but honestly, I wouldn't care. I would use either mm, body lotion, also La Roche-Posay. And this is the one that I usually use. 
and this is so good i can even use it on my nephew because you can use it on infants too if i'm not mistaken it says right there suitable for babies love that this is an empty so i got another one of these this is my favorite sort of body lotion and while staying still still in the family of la roche posay this is not a sponsored video i just love la roche posay mm, i go through these these seeker pass bomb like crazy uh i wish they came in a bigger tub but i can only find this size which is like 1.35 ounces and i use it every night uh, i also use it as a face mask and i also use it as a protection for my skin barrier when i'm swimming in like chlorinated pool so i love this product i know this is also toddler friendly is it let me check it is adults children and baby friendly uh i should definitely get one for my nephew and my sister can throw this in a diaper bag because i know this is good for diaper rash but i love this for my skin this is my nighttime routine i you i lather this onto my skin before bedtime and morning my skin feels really hydrated and supple and another combination of this so i have two of these because this was from my this stays in my gym bag and because i'm almost out of this i picked up another one i really wish this came in a bigger size because it's not very sustainable for me i go through one of these like one tub lasts me a month and a half which i think is not a lot but also I do lather this product on. I think this is potent enough for you to wear just a little, but I do lather this on. And on most nights, especially in the last recent cold season, I have been mixing these two together with a pea size of the Sika Plus B5, a pea size of the Elizabeth Arden Adar Cream. I mix it in together and then I massage it on my skin. And I feel like it's really, really good. Especially when your skin is like really dried and cracked, it just, acts like the most healing mask so i love that and i picked up this guy recently because i think this is a new one i haven't seen this version i don't know if this is new in the u.s i recently picked up mm, so i've applied this like a couple of times already and i've noticed that when i applied this my skin stings a little bit so i don't know what's what's causing that but it doesn't irritate my skin afterwards there's like a five ten minutes of stinging so this one i'm still trying out but anything from the la roche posay sika plus b5 line i'm obsessed with it i know that in in europe they have like a serum version of this that's come out which is obviously not in the us yet i would love to get my hands on that last product from the La Roche Posay Sika Plus line is this lip balm that I recently picked up. This is my first time trying this one out. I actually haven't even opened this, so let's see. Oh, that's kind of small. So this is what it looks like. The reason why I picked this guy up is I'm completely out of my nourishing lip balm that I usually wear throughout the day if I'm at home bedtime when my skin feels really chapped this is the product that i use uh, my sister got this at the new york presbyterian hospital when she had a baby so i think this is a nipple cream but you can also use it on the lips it's pure lanolin cream i am in love with this as you can tell i've completely used it up so i was thinking of getting this and i couldn't find it in the store so i was thinking maybe i have to look for this online but when I saw the Seeker Blast B5 at my local drugstore, I figured I'd give it a shot. But this stuff is amazing. This stuff I'm going to try out. So those are the drugstore skincare products that is my holy grail staple. The Seeker Blast B5 is something I've recommended to a lot of family members. They are also huge fans. Mm, finally, out of my... I finally completely used up my chanel tint the lay beiges water tint i loved it as you can tell but i don't think i'll get another one because i'm still a loyal fa fan fan loyal fan of the westman atelier the packagings are cute but they're not very practical i actually thought i was completely out of this and when i shook it i could feel like there was still products inside so what i had to do to get the product was take the you know the they have like this insert here that prevents the product from spilling i had to take that out and obviously it's not very functional i can't take it to the gym i can't travel with this on my weekend trips so that's the only way i'm able to access the product and there's no way i'm going to try to stick that 
stopper in and try to take it out every time I'm trying to use it. So this one sits on top of my vanity. So that's my only quirk with the Westman Atelier product, the packaging. Although beautiful, not practical because you're not able to get the product completely. Also, the same thing with my Westman Atelier lip balm that I love. And I thought I was out of this because when I take the wand inside, there's nothing on there, if you can see. And there is product inside. I'm not able to access the product. So again, with this one, when I take the stopper off, I can, there's a lot of product inside, I can use it. But with this one, I have to keep putting the stopper back on, which I personally don't think is very hygienic. And if I don't, if I don't put the stopper back on, when I dip this in, it completely leaks, like it's all over the wand and it's outside. So not very practical. Although I do love the package, exterior package, but I feel like it defeats the purpose, especially since her products are not cheap. They're very good quality products, but I hate it when I'm not able to use the product completely because I feel like I'm losing money there. I don't know, just a thought. Next up, another product that I've been using consistently is my Kosos SPF. This is empty. I believe this is either the third or the fourth bottle that I'm going through. Love the Kosos SPF just because when it comes to sunscreen, I prefer like a zinc or titanium dioxide based sunscreen. And this is the only one in the market that doesn't have heavy white cast. But one downside to this product is that if I put too much, then my skin almost looks pink, which is kind of a downside, but I guess I understand why it looks the way it is because they're trying to, I guess they're trying to cancel out the white cast that uh, zinc-based sunscreen would make your skin look like. And also I think it's because they have like this light illuminating drops inside. Maybe they should make one product without the illuminating drops. I don't know, just a thought, but I still love them because I can't find anything else that's this good. I haven't found a replacement for this, so I love the Kosas. The usual suspects, Augustina's Barter Travel Size, empty with one, full. I just opened a new one for my gym and weekend trips. The full size bottle, empty this one. And I just opened another one. Also been thoroughly enjoying my AB Essence, as you can tell. I'm halfway through the bottle. I picked up one recently at Saks because I love that. And those are it in terms of my MTs. Also, I uh, <laughs> received my idol goodie over the weekend. I will insert a clip of me unboxing it here. I am obsessed with this uh, piece that I received. It's the Isa and it is 0.50 carat diamond, sustainable lab grown diamond, if you're familiar with the brand. So, this is what the necklace looks like. It's the Isa. I love that it's tear shaped, mm, 0.50 carat lab grown diamond. I am obsessed with it. I've been wearing it as a choker. Just today I started wearing it slightly longer and I think it even looks good long. And then I'm styling it with my usual diamond cluster earrings that my aunt got me and I layered it with my Idol Leah drop piece. I think it ties in so well in love with the isa this is not a sponsored video they sent me this i'm so grateful for this this is a stunning beauty if you've ever shopped with them with idol their packages come in this most beautiful box every time i've received a package from them i've received a gift like this time i have this it's a leather notebook eggshell shade blank pages on here it's embossed made for dreamers funniest thing is if you follow me, I mentioned a few times on my channel that I journal a lot, use my agenda quite a bit. When I saw this, I had goosebumps because I really believe in signs that the universe sends you. And the funniest thing is I had made a landing page for my journal on Canva. I made this says welcome daydreamers. What are the chances? What are the synchronicities? I mean usually uh when you shop at idol you get your jewelry in a box like this nothing inside because obviously i'm wearing it and all the jewelry pieces come in one of these pouches so the new idol pouches have been upgraded to kind of like a purse with a button closure on there i am pretty sure i'm going to find a use for it 
and back to the notebook i don't know if it's all the time but every time i've received a package with them i've received a gift like this time i have this leather notebook uh another time they sent me that mirror that's always in my purse and there was a time that i received a jewelry cleaner speaking of which i need to clean my jewelry what else travel jewelry pouch so they always send a surprise gift with your package i don't know if that's all the time but i've always received one with mine so that's my idol package that i received thank you so much for my idol family for spoiling me with this beautiful isa diamond pendant i will forever cherish it it's my forever piece so i placed another order for skims for my mom because my mom also loves shapewear so i got her two shapewears and then i got myself another one which was in the thong style not my most favorite thong but i really like the racer back look of this one so i decided to get it for myself it's this guy here they didn't have an extra small honestly i think i would have even got an extra small but it's this guy here this is the size small don't be alarmed by how tiny it is Don't be alarmed by how tiny this is because it really stretches. And when I initially saw it, I thought, oh my god, I'm not even going to make an attempt to try to get into these. But they're actually kind of very easy to get into. And they're so comfortable. As I mentioned in the start of this video, I wear them throughout the day. Which is why I decided to get this and I got one for my mom. I think I got her the same one. So I got her a size medium because that's her size. I think with the shaper, definitely go true to size. Like what size you usually wear. And if you're looking to be cinched and more, sides down. Like right now, I am wearing the nude ones in the size extra small. You can lounge in the house with this. That's how comfortable these skims shaper is. And... I know they were really popular but it actually lives up to the hype honestly i'm a fan as you can tell i wouldn't place another order if i wasn't so i got something else for my mom too oh this is mine and i picked up everything from the sale because i didn't feel the need to go buy it at full price at full price i think the shapewares are like about 75 dollars and on sale 35 to 32 dollars which i think is a great price i got this one it's like this satiny kind of finish shapewear that I think I was thinking maybe I could actually wear as a, as a top inside uh, underneath like my blazer and my cardigans. Just a thought and it was on sale and I wanted to try it. But I know that the hold on this is not going to be strong hold like the shapewears. Like these seamless sculpt shapewears. Got that for my mom and then I got something else for her here. But that's her piece let's see this one too I got for her yeah so I got that for her another kind of like a shapewear body wear it's quite beautiful these are from the foundation line so though it's gonna have very subtle hold it's really nice I think I should have got myself one too as you can tell I have become a skims fan my battery is dying and i need to go downstairs clean up this mess so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one thank you so much for watching